you out there in YouTube land, this is Transit 0109 back with another action figure review. I know you're all probably getting tired of Ninja Turtles, but technically they're all that I had available. But for those of you who wanted some more uh, Batman items, I was able to go through the old uh, closet and find some more of the original movie toy line. And of course, uh, not none of the vehicles I didn't actually get any of the vehicles, but I do have at least two more figures to review. So, how about we start off with the Clown Prince of Crime himself, the Joker. Now looking at this figure, as it sits right now, this is a terrible, terrible, terrible figure. Ah, boy. They didn't even get the likeness of Jack Nicholson right on the face. And I don't even think they tried to. I think they just had the license for Batman. They just decided to throw a Joker figure out there to cash in on the to, to cash in on whatever money this movie was going to make. And it, it's it's just bad. It is really, really bad. Now, I know there are a lot of you out there that had this toy as a child and probably loved it. I did, too. I actually did have this toy as a child. But because it was so bad and it just didn't sell after Kenner's Dark Knight collection came out in stores a year later, I would actually find this even at five years old in 1991, 1992. I could still remember seeing these figures in their bargain bin, literally, like, in their bargain bin, there's, like, a ton of Joker action figures and Batman, and they just couldn't get rid of them. I, I think I got this for, like, a dollar fifty back in the day. But what really makes this figure that bad is Toy Biz had no idea what they were doing with this. I mean, as it looks right now, at least they got the movie colors right. I mean, he does have the little violet orchid, the royal purple pants and uh, jacket, the blue uh, vest, the yellow shirt, and the blue tie. I mean, the, Kenner didn't do anything right with, as well as uh, screen accuracy for their... Uh, for their Joker look. Just a hot pink and an orange and royal purple suit. This is the only Joker figure we would get that would actually sport the traditional Joker purple. But the face, the face is just terrible. Not only is the face terrible, but he, he's got an open mouth. His, uh, you can actually see those are his top teeth. Those are his bottom teeth. They couldn't paint maybe uh, black or uh, maybe a darker shade of pink or maybe even purple. I don't know. Just put something in there so it just doesn't look that atrocious. God, that is just bad. The hair streak back is terrible. There's like... It just doesn't look like hair. It looks like someone put silly putty on the head and just molded it back. That's... Ugh. Now, the figure... The, it's really hard to try to get... The, to try to label this figure as good or decent. I mean, I really want to try to give this a good informative review, but just looking at it, it's really hard to do. He does come with certain accessories. I wouldn't exactly call them movie accurate, but he comes in, you may have noticed, a lot of people out here know, he does have the, uh, the hole right there. Well, he comes with this little squeeze tube, and it's actually pretty detailed. They didn't really need to do that, and give him plus for that. However, after many years, the substandard glue I really can't get this to work. I mean, when I squeeze in, it, it there's just no suction because the glue is just eroded away. I mean, you you see it right there; it's just flaking off. 
they're, it's just not pulling much of a seal. He comes with his hat. A very dorky, oversized hat. For those of you complaining about the Chris Kingdom of the Crystal Skull removable hat indie, yeah, right here. And this. This is supposed to be a cane or like some sort of walking stick. It does have some detail to it and some ridges here and a ridge there. And of course it's a little bit thinned out at this so he can hold on to it. And he can really only hold on to it in his right hand. And it just actually just snaps in there like so. And that's it. He doesn't really do anything. It would have been better if he just came with a gun. You know, like that elongated pistol. We would get that in the Kenner line, of course, but it would have been better if he had that elongated pistol. And, of course, the hat fits on his head like so. And it really... I think I have it on right. Do I have it on right or I have it on wrong? No, I have it on wrong. Okay, so it goes like this. It just, it just stays on with friction. That's it. I mean, it doesn't snap on or anything like that. And that's the Joker all geared up. And I'm telling you, it looks just as bad, if not worse. So, yeah, if you lost any of the accessories as a kid, well, the hat, you're better off losing it. And the cane, why, why even have it? It's a worthless accessory. Really, the only thing that works with this thing is this tube. So what you were supposed to do was you were supposed to fill this up with water, then you're supposed to stick the tube into his back like so. And it, it really just, it works fine, and then you just squeeze. And water comes out the chest. Well, it would if this thing worked. That's, you hear? It's coming from here. Not here. So, yeah. Would like to have tried that accessory out, but unfortunately, it doesn't want to work. His articulation is very standard, the same as the original Batman. He moves at the shoulders, his head turns, and he can sit down with his knees bent. So he has, what, seven points of articulation? Not bad. Uh, and the thing is... You can find a lot of these on examples, on card, and people are charging ridiculous prices for it. And it's barely just for nostalgia alone. I would not pay over five bucks for this piece of crap. I mean, just because it's the Joker doesn't mean that it's a good toy. It is a terrible, terrible toy. But it got kids from the 1980s who would love the movie Batman. It kept them entertained. But when we got the Jack Nicholson Joker from 1990, you can see my review in, the, in my videos, and you definitely see for yourself, it is a much better figure with a 100% better sculpt job. <sighs> and it, it's not like that... 1989, they just didn't know how to do toys. That's not true. It's just Toy Biz had no idea how to do action figures. Really, the only thing that is outstanding about this is the original card art. And even then, it's not Jack Nicholson. It's just a picture of the Joker. Although it is really freaking cool. And the card is pretty much no simple. But hey, it could have been a lot worse. We could have actually got the prototype. Which is nothing more than the superpowers Joker repainted. Ugh, God. So at least they at least tried to do something. But they still failed at it. This is Transit 010, and I am signing off.